Our dear students, today we will see one of the optical detector which is used in the uh, receiver part of a optical communication system. The first optical detector what we are going to see is a PIN photodiode. PIN, P means the P type of material of semiconductor, I means the intrinsic pure semiconductor and N means the N type material of semiconductor. So using PIN we have built a structure over here. So in this structure you can see this is the P type material, this is the intrinsic layer and this is the N type material. So this is PIN diode and upon which we are having metallized contacts for anode and cathode. Okay. Now here <coughs> what we have to see is whenever we use this optical detector, whenever we use this photo or diode in our optical receiver where we are going to receive the data optically, this diode has to be used in a reverse bias condition. A reverse bias condition. Now, once you apply this diode in a reverse bias condition, that means anode is connected to the negative of a battery and cathode is connected to the positive of a battery. So in that case, a normal a depletion layer will form. But to that normal depletion layer, this intrinsic layer also will help so there is a wide depletion layer when we connect this diode in a reverse bias condition for its operation. So once that depletion layer, a wide depletion layer is there, that depletion layer makes the capacitance of the diode very less and for which this diode can be used for higher frequencies. Okay, this is one thing. Second thing is <coughs> whenever a wide depletion layer is there, this diode will not work until you apply a 20 volt uh, reverse voltage also it will not make any current to flow through it there is no reverse current flowing through it even if you apply as high as 20 volt across it that means in a reverse bias condition easily it is not going to allow any reverse current to flow now here one condition will be there if you make any light fall on the depletion layer any light that is the photons elements of light falling on depletion layer then every photon can make an electron hole pair over there it is just the opposite of your spontaneous emission so every photon falling on the depletion layer can give rise to electron hole pair now these electron hole pairs which come can accommodate the reverse current that means if the diode is connected in a reverse bias condition for a minimum voltage okay and in that case when the light falls on the depletion region this light those every photon of that light will give rise to electron hole pair and those electron hole pair will constitute a reverse current and the diode shows a current flowing and the current flowing intensity will depend on the intensity of the light the current flowing magnitude will depend on the intensity of light that means how much light is falling that much current is flowing in the circuit that means light energy is converted into electrical energy by this PIN photodiode. 